At number five, Eilson's Dylan Scarborough reels in a TD at the back of the end zone. It's hard to see here, but he's keeping those feet just in bounds and in the end zone, getting the TD. The Ravens win it over Monroe Catholic, 61 to six. Number four, a big defensive play in the Dog Bowl. Lathrop Sergio Salcedo snags an interception and takes it all the way home. He reads the pack's QB perfectly and makes a mad dash to put six on the board. The Mutes are now the town's top dog after the big win. Coming in at three, Sam Hartoon guides the Nooks to get their second straight win against Seattle Pacific Saturday. She was named Player of the Week by the GNAC, and she's seeking a Play of the Week vote from you for that performance. This is the fourth time Hartoon has received those conference honors. At number two, Peter Krieger gets this nice shot off in time in the Alaska Nanooks game against Mount Royal. The Nooks would show dominance with a 4-0 performance. Three of those goals came in the final period. And rounding it all out at number one, Lathrop's RJ Henry gets a little redirection going to make something out of nothing. He has a multi-touchdown performance as well, propelling his team to a 48-9 dog bowl win. To vote for the play of the week, click on your favorite play on the i5 poll on webcenter11.com. You can also comment on the KTVF Facebook and YouTube posts and at KTVF 11 Sports on Twitter for your vote. The play of the week will be revealed this Friday. The i5 Sports Report is brought to you by Adiant Orthopedic Physical Therapy.